All right, here we go. I think this is working. Um, hello. I'm using my Mac to try to make a movie, but it's kind of intimidating because I have to look at myself the whole time. Not really a fan of that. Um, so this is my dad's room. This is where the movie magic is happening. But now I don't really know what to talk about. Shoot. Yes. I was going to share with you about some stuff that I was reading that I thought was really cool. Um, some stuff that I was thinking about. And it's kind of a weird way because it's kind of like a phone conversation by myself. So, I don't know. This is kind of cool. I'll just think out loud a little bit. Um, I was reading in Matthew um, when Jesus says, um, If anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Um, and I don't know, like, I kind of started thinking about this after you texted me. Oh, half of my head was cut off. That's cool. Um, after you texted me about um, something you read in Under the Overpass about how Jesus would want us to go to the darkest spots. Um, and I was just thinking about that and kind of like my whole attitude about being at home. Um, and even my whole attitude with school has been kind of selfish. Um, and I was talking to Kathy today. And um, not the Kathy used to work with, a different Kathy. But, um, she was saying, like, how, about surrender and how here, like, Jesus says, like, it's all about commitment. Like, we have to daily surrender our lives to him. And there's even a verse about, like, hating our own life. And um, I was kind of at first, I was like, I kind of like my life and I don't really want to hate it. But I've been totally living, like, it's so easy to live for ourselves. And even with school, like, going and doing it for myself rather than, th like, when I thought about it, that's a really dark place too, and so is here, and Pita Jungle is really dark, and the people that we work with and live with that don't have any hope, and how even there, like, we can't be a light unless we surrender our lives to Him. Otherwise, like, I've seen in my job, like, I'm constantly looking to find my identity in these people, or, like, acceptance from these people that it really doesn't matter, like, if I surrendered my life and gave my life over to Christ because I love him not because it's, like it's gonna be hard I suppose but his love for me and his grace for me is far surpasses that and now I'm all conscious that I can see myself and it's freaking me out and throwing me off guard but um I don't know um in numbers it says like I see a people who live apart and do not consider themselves one of the nations and that that looks different like we have our own culture now we don't look like everyone else if we surrender and take up our cross and hate our own lives as far as what it looks like here. Like we don't look, like I don't look like the people I live with and work with. Um, I look different because I love Jesus and I love other people and that looks different because I'm not finding my identity in them anymore because I don't have an identity here. I'm an alien here. Um, but that's like a daily thing too. It's nothing that comes with feeling all the time. Um, like, I won't have that high of being, like, I don't know, do you remember in high school, like, I always had these awesome, like, summer camp experiences, and, like, my life is totally awesome, but we don't have those all the time. We don't have those times where we feel really close to the Lord every day, but it's a daily commitment. It's a choice. It's a, I know Jesus loves me even though I don't feel him by my side right now. I know he's here, and I know he's the only one I would ever live for. I don't know. I'm kind of rambling, but there's this other verse that I thought was cool that I read. Um, I don't know if it's going to make sense, but it kind of, I don't know, I'll just read it. This is going really long. Sorry. Um, I hope my computer can take this, but um, it's in Revelations, um, and it says, Fallen, fallen is Babylon the great, for all the nations have drunk the maddening wine of her adulteries. The kings of the earth committed adultery with her, and the merchants of the earth grew rich from her excessive luxuries. Come out of her, my people, so that you will not share in her sins, so that you will not receive any of her plagues. For her sins are piled up to heaven, and God has remembered her crimes. Um, it's kind of where it ends. And I was just thinking about it, like, in my own life, and I'm, I'm just kind of, I don't know, think out loud here. But, you know, God calls us to come out of that lifestyle of finding our identity here of storing up our treasures here. He asks, he's telling us, you know, you need to surrender this. You need to come out of the world um, and be set apart 
and love me and in that way like we'll be a light to the darkest places and that way people can see him through us um, I don't know I don't know that's just kind of some of the stuff I'm thinking about a little bit um, just today and yesterday um, I'm just kind of like seeing how selfish I got recently and um, so that was kind of cool and I'm really sorry if um, any of that really affected you I'm sure like sin always affects other people and I'm sure even with my attitude and stuff that affected you and I don't know I hope I really like this I hope we can encourage each other to come out of the world and to love people in a radical way like Jesus did because um, we're following that guy you know it's kind of cool um, and it's an adventure no matter what even if it involves hiking thousands of miles but um, I hope this works. Otherwise, I just talked to myself for about six minutes. But I shall see you soon, my friend. Oh, my dear. How about that? Um, I feel like it'll work. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.